We just want to step back and take a look at what you're wearing because it's amazing. Take it down, Mississippi. All right. Can you please tell us the inspiration behind your dress tonight at the MAACP Award? Well, I live in Mississippi. I'm from Mississippi. And Mississippi is the only state in the union to have the stars and bars as a part of its state flag. It's a whole back of the Confederacy. And it's a symbol of genocide. It's a symbol of state-sponsored terrorism. It's our, it's our swastika. And little kids like my little niece and nephew have to go to school and walk under that Confederate flag to go to school. We shouldn't do that in America. It should be done. And we all pay for it, not just Mississippians, because that because that's a Mississippi state flag, we pay for it because it's on federal property because it's a state flag. We're all complicit in its sustaining itself and it's time for it to go. And so my idea is let me make it cute. So people will pay attention. So that's the inspiration. So I love that you're advocating from a fashion point of view. Do you have a petition online or are you doing like a social media campaign for us to follow you and support you in other ways? Yes, we started we started it's um, we started a campaign called X the X, meaning get rid of the X, which is the, the stars and bars, the Confederate flag. We're doing we're doing commercials, we're gonna do more commercials and um, so it's it's this is something that we're building, you know, from the ground up. The thing is, is that we are having to battle a lot of fear in my home. Um, and but you know what? I've been told that you got to work one extra day than your enemy. And so that's what I'm doing right now. That's what I'm doing. Speaking of work, you played Nat Turner's wife in Birth of No Nation. You play his mama. I'm, I'm sorry. Can you please tell us about that incredible film and your experience? Nate Parker, Nate Parker, Nate Parker. Like, he will be here a year from now and walking down this carpet. And it, it is, he wrote it, he directed it, he produced it. He did catering. I mean, he did everything. It's such a labor of love on his part. And, and, and just, he wanted to tell this American story of this American hero. And I'm hoping that all of us will get behind it and embrace it because it's an American story. Yes. Thank you. So were you guys very communal on the set since it was such a grassroots project? <laughs> yeah, child, yes. <laughs> yes, we were at 2 o'clock in the morning in the middle of the Savannah Woods, you know? It was beautiful. I mean, I, I wish all of my shooting experiences could have been like that. We have all felt like we were doing something special, and I can't wait for people to see it. How are you celebrating Black History Month this month? Right now, talking to you with your thing and your thing. Because I know you had to go through what you had to go through to get to here. So um, that's how I'm celebrating. Thank you so much. One last question. If you had to vote for an entertainer for president, who would it be? An entertainer for president? child that's a question a lot of people are saying will smith and samuel l jackson now that would be funny we would all be yelled at if sam won so that would be entertaining so yeah okay here <laughs>